What's up everybody? This is the deal for today. This video is gonna be more for my reptile people. We're going to pick up a boa from this uh, woman. She bought her boa, a son, or, she bought her boa. <laughs> she bought her son a boa. Now he's not interested in it. He wants a ferret or she, uh, want, or he wanted a ferret. So she bought him one and they no longer want the boa, the snake. So we're on our way to pick it up. It's about an hour away. I'm actually running a little late, a little behind. But we're on our way to pick it up now. Apparently, the photos I got the other day, like two days ago, the most recent photos that she had, or she said they were most recent. I'm not sure if uh, the kid or her knew the snakes need humidity. You know, decent amount, not like too high, but you know, well, depends on the snake. Always need uh, humidity to shed. And the photos I got, the snake has shed from its head to about like neck area just that's it and the rest is just all stuck completely dried out you know kind of flaky like complete shed stuck on them so i don't know if uh they just got the ferret and didn't uh want the snake anymore so just quit like looking after it or what so anyway i told them i'd take it off their hands i'm a snake guy you know i love snakes so you know, I figured I'd go ahead and take this one off their hands because they don't want it no more. And plus, from the photos, I don't think it's a common boa. I think it's like a ghost or uh, some kind of morph. It's not, a, it's not a common boa from the photos, but everybody knows photos can be deceiving. So, we're going to um, go pick it up. I worked on the cage for this boa yesterday and the day before past two days i didn't film any of it but i filmed a little bit yesterday of it all set up and ready to go uh i'll show you some of that footage now so this is it i got my tubs right here the three rack and then i got this 40 gallon breeder on top i did it white to match the cages i got these boards white on the bottom to put a gap under the heat pad which is under here this side. You see it's solid all the way on the inside. Got her water dish or hide. I just put the bedding in, so 66 on the cold, 72 on the hot. Yeah, down in the middle of it, it's like 73. It should still rise. I got it hooked to the same thermostat as these three, so they all four should be same temperature. Here's the lid, it locks and everything. This is her cage. It looks good. It all goes together. All right, let's get back to the main video. So that's the footage of the cage I filmed yesterday, all set up, ready to go. We're on our way to pick the snake up. It's about an hour away, well, less than that now, but you know, from my house to where I'm meeting these people is about an hour away. That's enough of me rambling. Let's get to the destination and I'll show you the snake. Alright guys, I literally just picked this snake up. I'm telling you, the shed is bad. I'm getting ready to show her to you. I haven't pulled her out of the box yet or anything, but it's pretty bad. I'm glad I was able to pick this snake up and hopefully get it back to good health. Get this, get home, get this shed off of her. And it looks like the tail might have a, a couple of stuck sheds on it from looking inside the tub it's in. I don't know guys, it's not, it's not looking too good uh, shed wise, but from what I could tell, she still looks kind of healthy weight wise but shed wise not looking good at all like i don't think they used humidity at all with this snake i don't know get all your information you know search all your information before buying a snake so you know exactly what they need and how to take care of them because this kid she bought it for her son he obviously didn't know how to take care of it and i guess she didn't either which it isn't her fault. Well, it kind of, I don't know. Just do your research before you buy an animal. 
so you know exactly how to take care of it. Let me show you the snake. I mean, look at that tail. Mm. Not in good condition whatsoever, shed wise. I mean, weight wise, it doesn't look bad from what I could tell so far, but shed wise, man, we're going to have to do some work. We're going to get this girl home, soak her first thing, loosen up this skin. Hopefully, she doesn't lose the end of her tail right there. Man, I wish I could have got to this guy sooner. Or girl. All right, let's get her home, guys. There she is. Not looking the greatest, shed was. Her tail. It's already like about to fall off. We're gonna soak her in this tub, loosen that skin up, hopefully, start getting it off. That's it guys, I let her soak. Um, I got her in her cage, just spray it down real good, got the temperature up to get that humidity up. <clears throat> gonna let her chill in there for the rest of the night. Tomorrow, or the next day I'm gonna soak her again, probably tomorrow she needs to get that skin off bad. Tip of her tail is coming off. I don't think I can fix it or save it, but I can save the rest of her. Get the sheds off of her, just keep getting them off, keep getting them off. There's a stuck eye cap on her eye from her shed because they shed their eye caps too. So I'm gonna get a Q-tip tomorrow, get it wet, you know, and try and roll it around that eye and get that eye cap off. I don't know how many's on there, but I know one's on there for sure. But yeah, we're gonna start trying to get her out of that shed. see the well if I got like the humidity on the glass on the inside yeah it's gonna help her a lot she looks good and she's definitely not a common boa she's a red tail I got some of that shed off her tail and it's bright bright red so she's a, she's a kind of red tail I'm not sure what kind she's a full red tail Wish I could have got to her. That's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. I'll keep you updated. I'll post another video on her here in about a week. See how she's doing with that shed. Hopefully, I got a lot of it off by then, if not all of it. Um, she's got a lot on there, though, guys. A lot of shed. So, I'm going to be working on her every day, pretty much, trying to get that shed off. But, yeah, that's it. Like the video. Subscribe down below. And I'm going to keep putting out videos for you guys. You know, I really like filming it, but I like editing better. So, I mean, the only way I can edit videos is if I make videos, so that's what I'm doing. Plus, you get to see my reptiles, and a lot of you like watching my reptile videos, and then a lot of you guys like watching the, the trio, Johnny G, Kenny P, and Lil D, uh, which we're making another video tonight. It'll probably be out tomorrow or the next day, so keep watching. Like and subscribe, guys. Later.